Hey guys, Lane here from Offered Outlaws and we're loading up and getting ready to go to the track. As you see, we've gotten pretty well everything loaded up. We gotta load up the rest of the camera gear, which I got on my back and I'm holding in my hand. So see, hopefully, I got this road mic on here. I haven't used it yet, so we'll see how good this is. And hopefully it won't be a lot of wind noise because it's pretty windy today. But uh, we'll see how it goes and I'd say, like I've been saying, everything is loaded up, ready to go. So we'll see how good this works. Okay, see you at the track. So we're out here at Live Oak, we've made it, surprisingly. But so, Dad's about to go out there on his. I've already made a couple laps on mine. We think we pretty well fixed the carbur carburetor issue, it ain't sticking no more. So, we're about to see how good it works, keep on the rest of the day, keep you updated. What's up folks? Lane's turn, he's fitting to go out and make a few laps. I'm gonna get a little video of him. 
we just out today trying to get all the bugs worked out of his and uh, so far so good uh, just getting a little practice in trying to build our endurance back up and uh, get ready to possibly make a trip to Sunnyside or somewhere a little further away uh, got to get the confidence back in this four-wheeler to make sure that uh, we confident we can go somewhere with it and it not break down with us while we're there so uh, we're just making some laps putting in a little time
So I just wanted to take a second to thank some of the people that's helped us out with building our quad. Uh, first of all, got to give a big shout out to Full Flight Racing and DRC Suspension. Those two additions to our quads have made the biggest difference in handling and performance of uh, anything that we've done. Uh, it doesn't matter how much power you got, if you can't get it to the ground and it doesn't handle, then it's not doing any good. But uh, I think we've got Lane's quad pretty well dialed in. Uh, the suspension's doing good. We added uh, a little bit of uh, high speed compression to the rear shock and I actually took a little bit out of the front to soften it up. May end up having to adjust the uh, rebound dampening just a little bit. But uh, she's doing good. I think we got the car problem straightened out. Um, he's made three, four runs with it so far. Uh, three or four laps at a time, not having any issues with it. Fingers crossed that holds out. But uh, she's doing good and we are glad. I'm sick of working on that thing. It's a, uh, it's a true labor of love to do something like that. <laughs> I'm sure anybody that's worked on them knows what we're talking about. Uh, the Raptor's doing good. Hadn't really had any issues to complain about with it. Uh, same thing, uh, big thanks to Full Flight and DRC Suspension. Uh, also gotta give a shout out to uh, Unhinged ATV. Uh, that's where we got the bead locks for Lane's YFZ, and those things are very nice. Uh, thinking about possibly getting some mud plugs for it at some time, not in a big hurry about that, but uh, just something we were thinking about. Uh, also, at some point, want to end up getting a uh, at least a slip on exhaust for mine. Uh, at some point, I want to do the big three and uh get the empire exhaust the fci intake and the programmer but uh she's got plenty of power really for the type of riding that i'm doing on the track uh probably more than i even need but uh i want to get that sound so i want to eventually put a new exhaust on it like i said even if it's just a slip on uh may get a little big gun slip on to stick on it just to change it up a little bit uh at some point i'm going to end up taking mine completely apart and repainting it got some spots where uh the paint's chipping on the frame and the last thing i want to do is start getting a little rust uh everybody knows that leads to cr uh, cracks in the frame i don't want that so uh this winter there's a possibility i may take it apart and uh start doing some painting on it don't know exactly what i'm gonna do yet i hadn't made up my mind but uh as we get a little closer to that time, we'll figure all that out. Well, that pretty much winds it up for today, folks. Lane's quad done good, the Raptor done good, so maybe we got all the bugs worked out. Uh, big thanks to Live Oak for letting us have the track by ourselves today. Uh, if everything works out and no more problems happen, then uh, you can look for us at Sunnyside here in a week or two. Uh, gonna get a hold of those guys and see if the GP track is open yet. Uh, for now, we're just gonna get loaded up and we'll talk to you again on the way home. So we almost back home. Uh, pretty tired. <laughs> we uh, we gonna get it to the house, get everything unloaded, and uh, upload this video. And try to get it edited and uploaded to YouTube. So, uh, like I said before, we have no problems. Uh, we're planning on going to Sunnyside and spending a weekend. Uh, when we know for sure what day we're gonna go, we'll put it on Facebook. Let everybody know so maybe some of you guys can come and hang out with us and uh hope you enjoyed the video and we'll talk to you on the next one